Hi, Yarnabies. How are you today? I know I look like a mess. I look, I'm a hot mess. And let me tell you why. Oh, I've been doing all this sublimation stuff. I've had people, I, I can't even talk you guys. I mean, seriously. I've had some of you ask, what is this sublimation that you've been talking about? Did I miss a video or whatever? I've never really gone into what it is I'm doing. Okay. If you're here for yarn related stuff, this is not the video. <laughs> because I haven't been doing any yarn stuff. I've got it. I've got stuff I'm going to get done for my new shop and it's not yarn related right now. <laughs> so all of this is stuff I'm doing. Uh, okay. So sublimation is a process that you do with um, a special ink and a special printer that when you put when you print out your picture and you put it onto something that is polymer based uh, or polyester based that it will adhere to it uh, in a heat process right like it, whether you have it in a heat press or you have it in a convection oven or whatever um, the, the ink turns into a gas and it sinks into the item that you are sublimating okay so unlike um all of the crafters that use a cricket machine um vinyl cricket uh, cricket uses vinyl for you know a lot of different things but vinyl comes off right you can't put it in a washer uh in a washing machine you can't put it in the microwave you can't none of that right uh, over time, it will crack and, and come apart. With sublimation, once it's on there, it's on there. Uh, I have put one of my tumblers in the my, in the um, dishwasher, and it came off fine. Um, so I haven't put a mug in the microwave yet, but they say to, to tell people, you know, hand wash, all that kind of stuff, just in case, right? But I'm testing it and it seems to be okay so far. <sighs> the learning process is very steep. Um, backstory. When I was in grade five, I could not learn my times tables for the life of me. Still don't know them. They failed me in grade five. I had to go back a year. In grade seven, I still was, wasn't any good at math and they tried to fail me again. So they put me into trade school to learn hairdressing. <laughs> Don't judge my hair. Uh, and things got really hard and I quit. I just got out of school and said, forget it. I'm never going to use this stuff anyway. Guess what? You use this stuff. Like, holy crap. I'm telling you, if you don't know how to... Uh, read a ruler or a measuring tape you're screwed you know I, <laughs> I can do inches I can do millimeters I can do centimeters but I can't seem to do nine in nine inches and however many millimeters or whatever like how you put this into a program uh, when you're trying to size stuff oh I don't know what the point blah 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 is it's ridiculous. I've spent the last few days trying to figure out how to size my projects in um, a, a program called Canva. Uh, and there's been a lot of tears shed. There's been a lot of that going on too. I think she feels my energy. Um, a lot of tears have been shed. A lot of anger has been going on. Um, a lot of swear words. <laughs> George has opted to just go out and work and just not come home because I've just been losing my mind with what, how I'm this sizing stuff, doing the actual sublimation. No problem. I'm, I'm doing that just fine, but trying to size things down, I'm having an issue with. I took the day off work today because I needed to get this figured out. And let me tell you, 
I was ready to throw all of this stuff out onto the front porch. Like I, I'd had enough and I couldn't figure it out for my life. I joined a course, um, Jennifer Maker, and she answered a few of my questions within the first 10 minutes of her course, which was wonderful. And she has templates that you can use to make this stuff. Problem is, is that every, they call all these mugs and everything, they call them sublimation blanks because they're, um, there's nothing on them, right? So all of these are different sizes, right? And I just found out today that you have to measure every tumbler, every mug, because they're all a little bit different. So anyways, I was fit to be tied this morning. And then finally, I figured out the tumbler thing. And like I, and the stupid thing is all of these, I did all of these like last week. So it's not like I couldn't figure, I, I didn't know how to do it. But when I went to go back into the program to find the template that I made, I used it. It came out wrong. It didn't matter what I did. If I redid it, used somebody else's template, um, the, tried different sizes, nothing printed properly. Oh, so finally, I think I figured it out for the tumblers. Mugs and stuff are something totally different. Uh, yeah, so, but anyways, um, I want, I'm going to show you a couple, couple things. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had a couple of blunders when I was printing. Um, I had, I printed this one, right? Looks great. Very, very pretty. But if you look in this, oh, I don't know if you can see this. See this line right here, this um, faded part on these sides? That's from my heat press. The heat press, because there's a handle there, when you put it into the heat press, the heat press doesn't go completely go around. So you have to shimmy it, heat it, and do the heat press, and shimmy it back and do the heat press to try and get that. I thought that's a lot of mucking around. So I'm just going to take it and cut down a little bit further. So it's not quite as close to the handle. I think that's going to give my brain a little bit better rest. So that was one thing. And then this one, you guys might have seen it on Facebook. Um, I, I think I printed this on Facebook. I can't remember. But I did this one. Gorgeous, right? I was like, oh, I was so happy. I was like, yay. And then, yeah, it's turned upside down. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, anyway, um, yeah, that's a cut just a couple of the blenders. I've got a couple other little blenders in there. One of which is like it's um not as dark as it's supposed to be, and you know, a couple of little blips, but I'm gonna sell those at a really discounted price. Those ones I'm not gonna be able to sell. So um I just finished this one and I just put that up on my uh on my page and my shorts I think so I finished that so I think I did a pretty good job on that it's got a nice rubber bottom so um so that one I'm happy with I made this one for my housekeeper uh, and her helpers because you know she's always been good to me it says house cleaning because badass, mir badass miracle worker isn't an official job title. So 
I did that one for her and for, I did three of them for her girls. So somebody, one of you was asking if I was going to be making stuff for, for you Yarnabies and uh, if you would be interested in buying anything. Um, this kind of goes along the same lines of shipping is an issue. <laughs> so I have no idea how much it would cost to ship any, any of this stuff. Um, but I am going to make up a few things. Uh, and if you guys are interested, then we can talk about it. Uh, I do make the, oh, I didn't bring them over here. Oh, hang on. I make the car, the ne neoprene car coaster, car coasters. Yeah. <laughs> so this is just one. They're uh, eagles. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and I, I even look at me all professional. I even put them in a little plastic thing with a card and everything. Excuse me. So these I know I can ship really easily fairly cheaply um so yeah th these I can print um with a bee pattern of some sort on it hmm beehive hmm. now you got me thinking <laughs> I did print this oh I guess you guys I can you guys see this as the way it's printed Yarnabies. It looks right to me in the camera, but it's actually printed backwards. Um, it's mirrored so that when I print it, it will look like Yarnabies. Um, so anyways, I had this printed and I'm going to put this on a tumbler. I thought maybe you guys would like to watch and see what it's all about. Hopefully I'll be able to film this because <laughs> I got stuff everywhere and it's just chaos so yeah so let's try it out okay so first things first is you get your your uh, pitcher you clean off your tumbler and then you wrap this around hopefully I can do this so you guys can see it and then you press as hard as you can and bring it around and then you tape it you got to make sure that it's really tight which is not easy when you have health issues like you're not very strong anymore um so then you gotta really tape it together um, you're gonna hear this ticking because this is my convection oven that I'm using for the heat press so once you get it all taped then you can get it prepared for the heat so I'm just gonna tape this up and I'll just fast forward it and uh, you guys can watch. Once you've got it all taped up, then I've, I put it in a shrink wrap. Now, the one thing I noticed about these shrink wraps is if you don't put one of these little pieces of butcher paper on the bottom, this shrink wrap will stick to the bottom of the tumbler. I've wrecked two tumblers by doing this because I can't seem to get that plastic 
off the bottom. I'm going to try it with a heat gun and see if I can maybe make it pliable enough that I can get it off, but I can't find my heat gun right now. It's downstairs and amongst the mess of, uh, of all the shop stuff, I think. So, <clears throat> I'll put this over here. Okay, now, we put this over top. Here, like that, and then you wait for your heater or your convection oven to heat up. Put your gloves on because it can be very hot. <laughs> when these tumblers come out of the um, the oven, they are so hot you can't touch them even with the gloves on. So you have to um, really be careful. This over here. So, <clears throat> yeah. This is one of the funnest parts of the process. Oh, I think you guys are crooked or something. I can't tell. Um, because you get to watch the shrink wrap do its thing. So, put the butcher paper on here because it sticks to the thing if not. And then you put this here. And then you can see the shrink wrap doing its thing. And then this stays in for three minutes and then I rotate it and then I put it in for another three minutes and then it's done. So sometimes, most of the time, the shrink wrap will bubble and then the bubbles will pop and then the shrink wrap just comes apart um, but it still holds all of this stuff together. So um, I have to use a mask when I'm doing this though because um, this stuff is it's pretty strong and it's not good to to breathe in really. That's why I've got my window open. It's in January, it's cold outside and I'm freezing my butt off trying to do this. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? <clears throat> so you hear my voice being muffled it's because I have my mask on so okay now it's time to turn it around this is extremely extremely hot and then pop it back in <clears throat> for another three minutes Okay, so now I'm taking it out. And, whew, hot, hot, hot. Very hot. Oh, and I'm sorry. Okay, so now you let it cool for a minute so that you're not burning yourself. But you can see the print coming through. This is the exciting part, is watching the, the reveal process. But it takes a little bit to get all this packaging off. And I still have my mask on. <laughs> <clears throat> um, but yeah, the, the process of getting this off is, um, it can be a bit daunting. <laughs> so... Put my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. So you've got to get the plastic piece off as well as all the tape. And when this plastic is hot, it's pliable and that can work with you or against you. So <clears throat> you have to this tumbler is blazing, blazing hot. So you have to keep it moving in your hands because otherwise the heat just comes right through your gloves. 
and you do not touch the metal part of the tumbler with your hands because like with your bare hands this will burn you and give you like second degree burns or more so <clears throat> I guess this part of it is daunting because <laughs> it's the tape sticks to you and it's like ah, unreal so and of course I can't I don't have nails or anything in these gloves so <laughs> that's a pain in the neck so Okay, you guys ready for the reveal? Here we go. Come on. There you go. Look at that. Isn't it cute? Ah, it turned out so good. Oh, I love it. What do you think, you guys? Is that cool or what? <laughs> Here we go. Now I gotta clean up my mess and I'll be right back with you. Wasn't that neat? So there she is. She's got her lid on. She's got her rubber thingy on. And it comes with a metal straw with a little brush to clean it. And uh, yeah. So that, uh, that turned out really good. I'm, I'm really happy with that. Very impressed. And she goes in a box with her straw. And she's ready to go. Yay! <laughs> so I'm really happy with the way this stuff is turning out. Except for my little blenders. Uh, I've got three weeks or so before I move into the new shop. So I'm hoping to get all of this stuff finished. <laughs> um, I went and met with the Lisi's, Lisor, Lisor of the building. Um, they've already started with the construction. The first shop um, that uh, Angela's moving into, she, she can move in next week if she wants to. Hers is, hers is pretty much done. Um, the next part is the big part of the shop that, like, it's all been split up into three uh, different shops. And so they're going to start working on the big shop um, where Hal and um, Bronwyn are going to be moving into. That one's going to be a bit more work because the guy painted the ceiling black and the walls are green and the there's a big wall behind the till that has um like a spray paint spray paint art on it so that's going to be a bit for them to have to deal with uh, they've already built the wall between theirs and angela's shop then they've got to build the wall between my shop and hell and bronwyn's shop then they've got to go and on the other side and they've got to rip out that wall between me and the east indian restaurant and rebuild that one <clears throat> um so i'm the last one to go in but they're really pushing to have it done for february february 1st um so yeah i'm i'm good to go i'm just i'm working now for skip the dishes to try and get some money together and um i just put in another order for some more tumblers because that was the last of my tumblers 
<clears throat> now that I actually know how to do it. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways, I just wanted to touch base with you guys and show you what I'm doing. And I know it's not yarny related. I will get back to the yarny stuff once I moved into the shop. I have a few things that I might be doing. My niece and her guy are kind of inching me to try something completely different and completely new. So that's, we're going to see how that goes. I don't know. I figure if I can sit and make videos then I could probably sit and do that, but I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. Um, I don't really have anything else left to say, you guys. My brain has been mush. Absolute. Like, my emotions have been all over the place. I've been really happy. I've been really sad. I've been really angry. I've been elated. I've been, like, my emotions are, are just a mess right now. Um, now that I've, I think I've got a handle on this, I, I should be calming down a little bit. Because I'm not sleeping. I'm drink I, Like, when I do sleep... I'm dreaming work. I'm, I'm always working, always working. I'm either doing the sublimating or I'm doing the door dashing or I'm getting the shop done, you know, set up. And it's like my brain's not stopping. And uh, I guess this morning I just kind of had had enough and my I just went, <laughs> I shorted out there. Uh, there's not enough wine in the world for this shit, I'll tell you. <laughs> it's just my life. This is my life. Um, but I'm, I'm having a good time doing it now that I'm calmed down. <laughs> I have so many ideas. Uh, and I am going to be making some mugs that are yarn related. Uh, I have downloaded some graphics that are knit. And I'm, gonna, I'm looking into some crochet. Um, so, and I've got, I've downloaded some sayings. Uh, so I'm going to be working on that as well. And I will make sure that I show it to you guys. Mm. I did something I haven't done in quite some time. And when it gets here, I will be sure to show you. But I figured after all of this and all this hard work that I'm doing, trying to get this together, I deserved a Christmas gift to myself. So I bought a new furls hook it's the, it's a new line that they brought in I, I can't even remember what it's called but it's gorgeous um, and I can't wait for it to get here and I will do the unboxing with you um, when it does so yeah <laughs> I can't wait for it to get here it's so awesome all right, guys, um, thanks for watching, and don't forget to do all the things if you want to. It's If you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you want to like, like. If you want to unlike, I, whatever. It's like, <laughs> it's like, I, I, this, it is what it is, right? <laughs> I can't be mad about it. Um, so I love you all. You know I do. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.